Okay. Um, the next paragraph is the current position. So this might not apply to lots of medical students. It might apply for people who are applying to practice ready assessment, for example, in Manitoba or other um, ways to get into the Canadian system without residency. And sometimes even applies for people or international medical graduates who are applying to residency because like there are some international medical graduates who will be doing fellowship when they apply to residency. So your current position, again, if you are a fellow or if you're a general practitioner um, or if you are, let's say, for example, uh, you are um, in intensive medical care or intensive critical care uh, fellow. So you can add like um, ICU or in intensive critical care fellow. Okay, department of, um, so there is no need because like we already mentioned that. The institution, let's say you are working at the University of Toronto. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, let's, and then the city. Okay, so it's going to be Toronto and then Ontario for the province. Uh, if you're going to write the full name of the province, okay, uh, make sure you are consistent. If not, if you're going to write uh, like only two letters, make sure you're consistent. Okay. So if the current position, when did you start? And because like it's, let's say it's current, it should be until the present date or like, um, okay. So that's how you add it. Okay. So, so w when it comes to description, so this is one of the things that lots of people mix with. Um, in my opinion, the nice description is only uh, to highlight the important skills and also to highlight important experiences. Description should be nice and short. Um, then sh it should not be overcrowded. Okay, two things to mention in descriptions. One, transferable skills. Two, can med roles. Program directors when are hiring uh, or when they are uh, admitting applicants to residency spots, they are looking for people who have the can med roles as skills. Uh, if you don't know about the Canmed roles, you can check them under my interview um, course, um, or you can go to the Royal College website. So it's a group of skills that a physician should have to practice medicine in Canada. Um, so those are important. They are looking for people who are a good communicator. Um, they are looking for people who are leaders. They are looking for people who can collaborate with other people. So starting the description of your paragraphs with one of the Canmed roles, is very important uh, because it shows your understanding of what they are looking for. Uh, so this is one. The second thing to highlight in the description is the transferable skill. So let's say you are doing obstetrics and gynecology um, in the UK and you want to move to do a fellowship or residency um, in Canada. Uh, so there are many transferable skills here. Like if you know how to do, non, um, sorry, uh, if you know how to do like vaginal delivery, if you know how to assist in cesarean section. So this is very important because like those skills are transferable. Those are surgical skills that can be trans, uh, whether you learn them in the UK, you can apply them here in Canada and vice versa. Okay, so highlight two things. Uh, anything that comes under the CANMED roles, especially leadership, communication, collaboration, advo uh, advocacy for other uh, groups. And also, what are the transferable skills that you can bring to that program? So this is what should the prescription focus on, um, whether it's in the current position or previous positions.